Hi love, trust me, I understand how annoying it can be to make use of skincare products or follow a good skincare routine without seeing results from this product that you're making use of. I mean, I have actually been in this shoe where I make use of some skincare products and I end up not seeing results from it and it ends up annoying me. So therefore, that is the reason why in today's video, I'll be giving you all some of the reasons why your skincare products are not working for you. So make sure you don't skip any part of this video because we are about to unlock the secret secret to a better skin now the first reason why your skincare products or your skincare routine might not be working for you is using the wrong treatment now when i talk about using the wrong treatment there are different um skin concerns take for example skin redness hyperpigmentation um acne breakout um body spots you know stretch marks these are some examples of skin um, concerns that we that we want to like you know treat and because of these skin co um, concerns we are faced with we go ahead to buy some skincare products to treat them now when i say using the wrong skincare treatment i'm just going to be giving you some example now we started off with the example of hyperpigmentation if you're trying to treat hyperpigmentation and you're making use of products that actually does not have any business with treating hyperpigmentation that product cannot perform wonders that product cannot work for you you. now take for example this is a very popular um, product okay so this is the cost rx advanced nail 96 mousing power essence so this is what this product is i'm very sure that so many people know about this product that there is a lot of hype about this product on the social media so many people are talking about if you want a glowing skin if you want a perfect skin make use of the cost rx advanced nail um, 96 mousing power essence make use of this product you understand what i'm talking about but the honest truth is if you buy this product and your your mind is okay when i get this product all my hyperpigmentation will be gone away i'm sorry to disappoint you no your hyperpigmentation will not be gone because the reason why is you're using the wrong treatment for that hyperpigmentation this product is not designed to work for hyperpigmentation this product is designed to glow your skin this product is designed to um, hydrate your skin very well it is designed for like you know all these um body wrinkles you know because one of the reasons why we have um wrinkles on our face is when our skin are not hydrated okay so that's the reason why when people apply this product on their skin their skin looks so glowing trust me those people are not suffering from hyperpigmentation or even if those people were suffering from hyperpigmentation they made use of another product to get rid of their hyperpigmentation before they now started making use of this product so this is one of the treatments this is a very good product no doubt about that but what i'm just trying to say is that it does not work it is a wrong treatment for hyperpigmentation now another wrong another example of making use of wrong treatments is let's take for example you have acne you're always having acne breakouts and you're looking for a good product you can make use of for acne breakouts you know so many people talk about vitamin c serum they're always like oh vitamin c serum will glow your skin it will do this it will do that but the honest truth is that if you're making use of vitamin c like this is the vitamin c serum i make use of this is dr rashu um vitamin c serum if you're making use of the vitamin c serum if you have acne and you're trying to use vitamin c serum to get rid of your acne i'm also sorry to disappoint you it will not work as a matter of fact it might even end up breaking you out more so that is the reason why instead of making use of vitamin c serum to get rid of your acne breakout it is more advisable that you make use of niacinamide serum now this is the ordinary niacinamide serum i don't know if you can actually see it but this is the ordinary niacinamide serum why this one is dr rashu and vitamin c serum now these two products are very good i'm not saying they are not good okay they are very good as a matter of fact i'm even done making use of these but they work differently like this one will actually help you to like brighten your skin but this one brightens the skin more so if you're somebody that maybe have acne breakouts and you're trying to like get rid of acne breakouts if you make it of the wrong products like you're using vitamin c serum it might even end up breaking you out the reason why is because um vitamin c serum can be more irritating to the skin compared to niacinamide serum so this is another example of uh, of um you know making use of wrong skincare products so this is one of the reasons why your skincare products might not be working for you that's the reason why it is actually very important that you understand what is what are you trying to like treat and what is the right treatment what is the right product that can actually treat um that your body concern now another reason why your skincare products may not be working for you is pairing ingredients with other ingredients that does not go well together Let's take for example, you're somebody that makes use of a skincare routine where you use um some couple of products, and maybe you're using this one, you're using this ingredient, you're using this product, you're using this product, and maybe you're like, ah, 
upon everything that I am buying, upon all the whole skincare products I'm buying, all the um, popular skincare products, best skincare products I am buying, and yet I am not seeing results from them. Now, the reason why you may not be seeing results from this your skincare routine is because you are actually making use of skincare products that actually um, cancels each other out. That is, is either it um, destroys the effectiveness of these other skincare products, or you know, it even causes you when it mixes up with this other product, it causes you more breakouts, more hyperpigmentation, more sun sensitivity. Instead of the things to like give you the desired results that you actually needed from this product. So one of the examples of skincare products that does not go well together is benzoyl peroxide and retinol. Now retinol is a very um, popular product when it comes to anti-aging. When some when people want to like I am, you know, they want to have a glowing skin, they want their, their skin to be popping, they make use of retinol. Most times they tend to like go for retinol. Now, retinol is a very good product, but when you pair retinol with some skincare ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, it does not go well together. Now, benzoyl peroxide is a very good um skincare ingredient when it comes to clearing acne. As if you're suffering from acne, benzoyl peroxide is one good skincare ingredient you can make use of. Even retinol, retinol will help you with anti-aging and all those things. Like retinol has another beautiful um benefit to the skin. But if you're trying to like pair retinol, you're trying to pair benzoyl peroxide together. Maybe you're thinking, oh, if I add benzoyl peroxide and retinol, it's not me get rid of my acne it will help me with um, wrinkles it will help me glow my skin my skin will be looking younger than ever no if you pair retinol and benzoyl peroxide together it will end up irritating your skin and it might even end up causing you um you know all these things like rashes on your skin it might even end up causing you like pimples breakouts and all those stuff and you will now be like ah and they were hyping this retinol product they said that this retinol product is good and i made use of this retinol product and it did not work well for me the reason why that retinol product did not work well for you is because you made use of that product with another ingredient that that retinol does not go well to it together like i said benzoyl peroxide so instead of making use of benzoyl peroxide and retinol in the same skincare routine it is very um it's more advisable that you make use of benzoyl peroxide in the morning and you make use of retinol at night so it's more advisable you make use of it in this way now another skincare ingredient that does not go well together is vitamin c and retinol yes this is retinol again like retinol is a very good skincare product like i have been mentioning it is very important to note that there are some ingredients that does not go well with retinol now like i said the second one is vitamin c so if you love making use of vitamin c serum and retinol and you're like okay if i use vitamin c serum and i make use of retinol together to give my skin extra glow extra shine no, you're, you're even going to like cause more irritation to your skin. Like I talked about that vitamin C is like um kind of irritating to the skin, can be irritating to the skin sometimes. But let's take for example, there are some people that actually um, react to vitamin C serum. So even retinol on its own is another ingredient that can also be irritating to the skin. So which means bringing both of them together will cause you more skin irritation and it's, it, it will even cause you breakout. So instead of, you, you might not end up saying, oh, I bought this vitamin C serum. Okay, she said that this vitamin C serum is good i said making of this vitamin c serum but the vitamin c serum is breaking me out it could be maybe it might not even be retinol that you're mixing that vitamin c serum with it could be another skincare product that you're mixing that your vitamin c serum with that is actually breaking you out so you have to be very careful with what you mix um together with the type of skincare ingredients you actually mix together with now another reason why your skincare products might not be working well for you is that you're using incompatible products now when i say incompatible products i mean products that does not align with your skin type so that's the reason why knowing and understanding your skin type is very important. You need to know, do you have a dry skin? Do you have a sensitive skin? Do you have an oily skin? Do you have a normal skin? Do you have like an acne prone skin? You need to understand this fact about your skin care product before you go ahead to start buying um, some skincare products because there are some skincare products that me i would make use of that if you, you make use of it it will not be good for you so for example this dr rachel face serum also like i have seen a lot of controversial um opinions about this dr rachel serum where people says they brought this serum and it's breaking them out people are like the hype about this serum is not necessary that this serum is not even effective this serum is not a good serum now let me correct you on something this Dr. Rashi vitamin C serum, it is a good serum. The reason why it's not working well for you is because your skin type is not compatible for this serum. Take for example, if you have an acne prone skin, if you have oily skin, you have acne prone skin, please do not make use of this vitamin C serum. If you make use of this particular Dr. Rashi vitamin C serum, it is going to break you out. Now, the reason why is because this serum is very thick. I'm very sure there's this um, other serum they call Roshin serum. It's also a very popular serum that people will be like, oh, instead of you to make it of Dr. Rashid serum, go and make it of Roshin serum. It will work better for you. Now, the reason why Roshin serum will not break you out if you have oily or acne-prone skin is because Roshin serum is less thicker. 
with less ticker inconsistency compared to Dr. Rashid's serum. This is a very, this serum is actually tick inconsistency, and this is the reason why I love this serum. So, which means if you have oily skin, acne prone skin, and you make it of this tick serum, it is actually going to break you out. Or if maybe you also have a sensitive skin, if you have a sensitive skin, you need to be careful with the way you make use of this Dr. Rashid serum. Yes. Now, this is also this is also the reason why I said you need to be careful because if you have a sensitive skin, not really if you have a sensitive eyes, if you make it of this serum and you apply it around your eye sight area, your eyes will begin to pepper you. Now, the reason why I am still making use of this Dr. Rashid serum is because I have understood my skin type. I know that this product I am making use of is compatible for my skin type. So that is the reason why I am making use of this Dr. Rashid serum. It is glowing my skin. When people ask me, so my wish and vitamin C serum do you make use of? I tell them I make use of Dr. Rashid vitamin C serum. Sometimes they go ahead and make use of this serum and they're like, so my this serum did not work well for me. So this is another reason why your skin care and product might not be working well for you. And that is using incompatible products. That is using skincare products that are not designed for your skin type or even for your skin complexion. Yes, because there are some skincare products that you make use of. Let's say if you have a dark skin complexion or you have a caramel skin complexion and you make use of a particular skincare and product, they will end up making you lighter. Or maybe you have a light skin complexion and you make it of a particular skincare product, they will end up making you darker. It's because you're using that skincare product you're using is not dedicated, it's not meant for a light skin complexion. It is meant for a dark skin complexion. So that is the reason why your skincare products are making you darker or they are breaking you out. They are not even like giving you the desired results that you're looking for from this skincare product. Now, if you've been enjoying this video so far, please kindly give my video a very big thumbs up because when you like this video, you signal to YouTube that this video was helpful to you and therefore YouTube will be able to push this video forward um, to people that also need this video. And also when you like my video, it's a way you also show me support on my videos and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified when next i upload a new video so my upload days are wednesdays and sundays by 4 p.m that is wednesdays 4 p.m sundays 4 p.m and now another reason why your skincare products may not be working for you is impatience that is not being patient with your skincare products now there are some skincare products that actually require a longer period of time before you start seeing results on your skin let's say for example there are some skincare products that requires you to wait for like one month why there are some that you will start seeing visible results in as little as one week two weeks three weeks now let's take for example these two products here this is the vit gold three in one body treatment oil this is the dr rashu vitamin c serum which i also talked about before now, this Vit Gold Body Treatment Oil, if you make it of this oil, you will start seeing visible results on your skin in as little as two weeks, three weeks, if you make it of this Vit Gold Body Oil, which means this product actually starts, you know, starts giving you results on your skin faster. But when you're making it of this Dr. Rashi Vitamin C Serum, I mean, from my own experience using this product, I started seeing visible results on my skin from one month. So the reason why I brought up these two products is actually to like explain to you better so you understand that there are different products that has different time and range before you start seeing visible results on your skin. Now, assuming I was making use of this vitamin C serum, you know, because the reason why I actually brought this is because I was actually influenced by it. That is on social media, I was seeing so many people talking about the good side of this serum. So I decided to like, okay, let me try out this um, Dr. Rashu serum. So let's say I actually got this serum and I waited for two weeks and I'm not seeing visible results on this serum. I will end up dumping this serum and I'll be telling people that, oh, this serum does not work. But instead of me like, you know, just discarding this serum, I decided to say, okay, you know what? Let me give this serum like one month and see if I'm actually going to see results from making use of this serum. So which means what I'm just trying to say is that you need to try as much as possible to give your skincare product at least one month, okay? Give your skincare product one month for you to start seeing visible results from your skincare product. Now, another reason why your skincare product might not be working well for you is bad skincare habits. Yes. Apart from the fact that let's say um you're the type of person that you know your skin type, you know um you know the product that you make is of on your skin, you know the type of product that you make is of on your skin type, your skin complexion, and you know how to like mix skincare products. Maybe um you don't mix skincare ingredients that doesn't go well together, and you're still like ah 
But my skincare products are not still working well for me. What is the problem? Now, the problem could be bad skincare habits. Now, there are a lot of bad skincare habits that people engage in that in return, it damages their skin. Let's take, for example, now, um, let's say you are making use of the same beddings that is where you sleep, your pillowcase, your bed spread. Maybe you've not changed your beddings for like one month, two months. You're still making use of it. That making use of that will cause you hyperpigmentation. The reason why is because on that your bed spread or that's your beddings, it has trapped in a lot of deaths. You know, when you go outside, you come inside, you lie down, everything has been trapped, even um, dust, maybe coming from outside, everything trapping into that your uh, your, your beddings. Therefore, when you lay your head upon the air, it will end up like you know, causing your hyperpigmentation because of those dead seeds that is found on those your bed spread, and it will might even end up like you not know, breaking your skin out. So this is one of the bad skincare habits that people engage in that will actually, you know, instead of your skincare products to look like as if it's actually working, but it's ending up not working. Now another bad skincare habit is you know taking in a lot of sugary things um because sugary things can cause dehydration on your skin and when your skin is dehydrated you begin to have wrinkles on your skin your skin begins to look dull so making use of excess sugar can be another bad skincare habit that could be you know preventing your skincare ingredients from working or making it look like as if your skincare ingredients are not working and another bad skincare habit which i must mention is not making use of sunscreen i know there is there are a lot of um reasons why people claim to say they don't want to use sunscreen take for example it gives them white scars it makes them sweat it stings their eyes they cannot reapply sunscreen it's too heavy on their skin it's a lot of reasons see all those reasons that you're giving yourself it is not going to help your skin if you don't make use of sunscreen if you go outside you're not making use of sunscreen you might make use of a lot of skincare products you might make use of retinol or make use of corsair x face cream or you might be making use of this corsair x um, advanced nail 96 power this thing you might be making use of the best um, body lotion i don't know what's the best body lotion you can make it you might be making use of the most expensive skincare products but if you don't make use of a sunscreen then it's just like all your whole efforts are in a waste. Like instead of your skincare products to be doing you, your skin good, I mean your skincare products will be working, will be trying to like, you know, glow your skin. But the sunlight will be saying, no, back to sender. You cannot glow my skin, back to sender. So what I'm just trying to say is that you need to try as much as possible to start wearing sunscreen. Stop giving yourself a lot of excuses as to why you don't want to wear sunscreen. There are different types of sunscreens that you can actually make use of. There are different types of sunscreens out there that will not leave a white cast on your skin. Now, talking about sunscreen that will not leave a white cast on your skin, let's say if you're a dark skin person, you have a dark skin complexion, and maybe you're always scared, ah, this sunscreen will I make use of that will not leave a white cast on my skin as a dark skinned um, person. Don't worry. I have a video that I have actually filmed. Okay, so I filmed a video where I reviewed um, sunscreens for dark skin complexion five sunscreens that will not actually leave a white cast on your skin so i'm going to leave the link of that video over here so you can follow this link to check out that video so loves i'll see you all in my next video bye